Well now, who would have thought that one of the most simple vodka drinks there is, is also one of the most iconic? That's right, it is the Moscow Mule, also can be called a Vodka Buck, as technically the ginger beer and alcohol and lime juice thing is considered a buck, depending on which alcohol in it. Moscow Mule is what brought one of the reasons vodka became so popular in the States, and I'm making it right now, and I'll give you a little bit of history and my impressions on the drink after the recipe, so stay tuned if you want to see that. But, the Moscow Mule, a lot of times you'll see it served in a cup like this. Copper, mug, you don't have to do that, but if I am making drink recipes and I don't do that, people in the comments are just going to let me have it. So, copper mug, starting off with vodka, and I'm using Stoli. We're going to use two ounces of our vodka. And spill half of it everywhere. Once we put two ounces of that in there, you want to take a lime. This is one of the few drinks I don't pre-measure my lime for the simple fact that this recipe just calls for a half of the lime and you're going to take the juice of a half a lime citrus juicer I'm just going to put it right in there and if you're using a pre-bottled lime juice which I don't recommend, but you can. About three quarters of an ounce will do it. Um, don't use Rose's lime juice because that's just a sweetened lime juice and it sucks. So don't do that. So the next step, you want to take your ice, put some ice in this mug. That's nowhere near enough. Fill this baby up with some ice. All right. We're going to take ginger beer. Now this is Stoli brand ginger beer. Um, you can use any good brand of a spicy ginger beer that you want. You just want to fill that up pretty much to the top. Now if I'm not mistaken, this is about a 16 ounce uh, mug. So your mug size will vary, but typically it's going to be around, yeah, I'd say around four to six ounces of ginger beer goes in there. Just give it a nice light stir, nothing incredible there. And you can finish it off with, you can either put a lime wedge on the outside, or I just like to kind of stick a lime wheel right down in there. And this is how you make the Moscow Mule. Yes classic drink. It's simple, delicious, perfect. This is a good balance. The Moscow Mule. You have a ginger beer, which if you've never had, it's not like a ginger ale, which is sweet. Ginger beer is a kind of spicy uh, drink, carbonated drink. This is a non-alcoholic. Some of them actually do have a little bit of alcohol in them but you get this spice from the ginger and you get a citrus in there as well mixing in and the vodka of course being pretty neutral it has a kick but it doesn't really stand out tremendously I mean I see why this is such a classic drink it goes down smooth it tastes great it is something that I could really see being a reason for vodka's popularity rise back in the day. So like I said, I was going to give a little history on this drink. The Moscow Mule was invented in the 40s, although there are a couple different stories on how it got invented. Uh, one of the more, the more common story on how it was invented is basically a bar in the Los Angeles area, you know, vodka at the time was not a popular spirit. Whiskey was uh, more popular back then and even gin was way more popular than vodka. So a bar had 
a lot of vodka they wanted to try to move. And ginger beer also wasn't really a product that moved very well either. So they came up with a good drink that actually incorporated both. Simple, balanced, very good drink. And it really became popular in the Los Angeles area. So much so that Smirnoff actually went on a campaign promoting the drink. Promoting it in a copper mug. That's how the copper mug came to be. It was part of that uh, marketing effort by Smirnoff. And basically... Before too long, the Moscow Mule was born. It, well, I should say the popularity was born. They pushed it out. It was well received. And it's one of the reasons vodka really gained a lot of popularity in this country. Believe it or not, back in those times, vodka almost didn't make it in the United States. If it wasn't for some clever marketing and some good drinks like the Moscow Mule. Otherwise, we might not have nearly as much vodka in this country as we do today. So guys, I'm going to be doing some live shows pretty soon. I'd love for some submissions and recipes to help me out. Give me an idea of what you want to see. Click on my logo to subscribe so you are alerted when I do my live episodes. And thanks for watching this one, guys.